Welcome Sagittarius, we are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Dragon Oracle, Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, let's get into it. Sagittarius, one card, I'm not sure I liked how that came out. There it is, that's, that's, the, yep, that's it. Okay, so we've got the Golden Solar Dragon. Helps you stand in your masculine power with wisdom. Let your DNA be reprogrammed and light codes activated. Become an inspired leader. Love it. So it doesn't matter what gender you are. Okay, it's the energy that we're talking about here. Alrighty, so let's just get that ready. So then at the end, we can actually, Golden Solar. We can read it. There it is. 92. <clears throat> Here we go. So, three. Okay, let me get a grip on the cards. Get a grip. Golden Solar Dragon. Three cards for Golden Solar Dragon, please. Golden Solar Dragon. Nice. That just fell out, didn't like that. One more card for Golden Solar Dragon, please. There it is. There it is. Let me pick it up. Alrighty. So, Sagittarius, the first card we have here is Clear Out the Old. Okay. And then we have a Fresh Approach. And then we have illumination. Alrighty, so clearing out the old here. When this says, let your DNA be reprogrammed and light codes activated, become an inspired leader. This is what I feel like clearing out the old is. And you know what is coming to mind is like really looking at your, your lifestyle, how it is that you're living your life, what you're eating, what you're consuming in every form. Okay, look, look at this. There we go. I love it. Um, you know, it, it, that could be what you're listening to, who you have around you, what you're watching, what you, I've already said, eating. You know, the water that you're drinking or, or the liquids that you're drinking, all these sorts of things, right? I feel like this is very important for you right now um, because with these light codes, in order for those to be activated, our bodies... Um, uh, being the vessel that carry us through this life, those that needs to be um, as pure and as crystalline as it can possibly be. Okay, so just be very mindful of that right now. But let's see what else comes up here. Yes, yeah, see, because inside of you resides this creator. Well, you are the creator. Okay, so it, it, it's... It's about you creating what it is that you want. We all have dreams. We all have desires. And we're like, why can't we have them? Well, it's up to us to create them. Okay, it's up to, up to us to bring in that which serves us best. So that we can create this world of togetherness, this world of friendliness, this world of love. Okay, this is about you looking at what you're putting in your cup. And whether that is healthy, whether that is serving you or not, okay? This is also about what is going on in your mind here, Sagittarius. Is it serving you? Is what is going in your mind a reflection of the outside world? Because if a lot of things in your life are not working for you, what is it that's going on in your mind that is helping to create that? Are you there believing, oh my gosh, nothing works for me? And then it doesn't. And then you're like, why doesn't it work for me? Right? I'm only saying that because I've done that before, you know, so um, it's, it's, this is so crucial for us to be aware of how it is that we are creating what is around us, okay? Um, clearing out the old, not suppressing things down, not holding things down, allowing them to come up and out because this is where the cracks begin to show, okay? Um, in order to let new things in, we need to 
um, throw out the old things that's kind of like, you know, you want to buy some new clothing, you can't, you know, there's no room left in your wardrobe. You need to clear out what you no longer need, what you no longer want in order to make room for the new to come in, okay? Um, this is interesting because I feel like for some of you there's quite a big decision that needs to be made, okay? That um, there's a bit of a crossroads here. And in order for you to go down another path, there needs to be an emptying out of some um, things that don't serve you anymore that you don't want to carry along this new path that you are embarking upon. Okay, so be mindful of that. Be very, very mindful of that, okay? We have turning in here. This it also is about these thoughts, okay? What is serving you? What is not? Okay, really being honest with yourself, being objective, not being nasty to yourself, though. Just being objective. And saying, oh, is that thought actually helping me here? Is that helping me? Is this thought helping to create the life that I want? Okay, that is something that needs to um, seriously be looked at. Okay, we've got integration here. Bringing in all the elements that you actually already have in order to create, in order to get balance into your life. All right, um, because, yeah, see, you have this dream here. You have this dream and you feel like it's just a dream. That would never happen for me. I see it all around. I see it everywhere else, whether it's a relationship with someone else or, um, you know, anything else in your life. For some of you, you feel like it's just a dream and you wouldn't actually get that yourself. This could be also something from the past that you feel like you've lost and now you're wondering why you can't have that and it's because you're focusing on the loss as opposed to focusing on what is there for you. Yeah. Okay, so yes, this fresh approach, this needs to be taken here. <clears throat> okay, um, yeah. And I get it. Sometimes it can be hard to take a fresh approach when you can't see what it is that is coming. You know, sometimes we, if we know what we're aiming towards, then it's like, okay, I'm ready to go. This is what we're doing. Sometimes it's not always clear what is there for us. And we take a new direction not really knowing. And that can be a little bit daunting and it can be a little bit scary. But I think the fresh approach... First of all, I want to say that I'm seeing this card as getting out of nature for a start to replenish and rejuvenate yourself, okay? Um, there's sort of a cleansing that needs to happen here. And um, got some cards flip over that I feel like need to be taken. Let me pick this card up. Okay, so fresh approach. We have here, we've got two nines here. Okay, this is your dreams come true. Wishes fulfilled, right? Um, I do want to say about this, though, not to get complacent, to make sure that you actually keep going with what it is that you are aiming towards, okay? Um, even if you kind of almost get there, and then you're like, oh, sweet, I don't need to do much, so much. Sometimes the last step requires the most work. Okay, Sagittarius, because you're almost there. You're almost there, so get excited, this is the thing, get excited about it, okay? Because this is going to help you break free from this, um, this restriction that you put upon yourself, okay? Um, this cage that you hold yourself in and that keeps you from seeing what is possible here, okay? And trust, because this is very hard for you. It's very hard to trust. For some of you, really difficult to not just trust anyone around you or trust in the vision or trust in the dream, but to also trust yourself. And the person that we need to be able to rely on the most is ourself. So if you're not feeling very trustworthy of yourself, what is that saying to you? You know, we have this card here and this card here. This may very well be why you're not very trusting 
It could be that you made yourself a promise once upon a time to go, I'm never trusting anyone again, let alone myself. But here's the thing, right? You have to take that mask off because it's deceiving you. You know, you've gone along and you've pretended that everything's fine, everything's honky-dory, and things have crashed and burned anyway. So how has that actually served you? It hasn't. Okay, this is about you being honest with yourself. Okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um... Yes, there's definitely a new possibility for a relationship here. Maybe not new, but the the possibility for even an existing relationship to blossom into something incredible. Um, but you have to clear out the old. You need to get rid of what no longer serves you. This actually reminds me a lot of Gemini's reading. So if you have Gemini in your chart, go and look at that reading because that was pretty powerful. Um but yeah, I feel as though, Sagittarius, you are definitely on the path to something new um, and you're almost there. This is the thing, you're almost there. Don't give up now. That's what I want to say is don't give up, give up now, even though not everything is clear. Okay, and I think for you, Sagittarius, this is the frustrating thing. It's not all clear. And sometimes we need to just accept that. We need to accept that and we need to put trust into the divine plan. Okay, so. Illumination, tell me more about this. Tell me more about this. Because this person here in this card is going forth on the journey anyway. Even though they can't see where they're going, they are trusting in, in the... Um, in the divine to guide them realistically is what it is okay okay all righty so what have we got here these first two cards yeah wow yeah there might be a little bit of need for some rest for you, just to regroup, regather yourself in order for you to take this last step forward, okay? Um, I want to say take your time with it, don't rush, be patient with yourself, okay? And know that there's some things that need undoing here, okay? Conditioning, and we've got sorrow, and this is the sorrow from the conditioning that you have experienced, okay? Um, yeah, this could be where it's hard for you to trust because also this illumination, not seeing everything and not seeing what is coming is very scary for you because when that's happened before, it, it ended up with this and it's also ended up with being deceived and everything crashing and burning around you. So it's really difficult for you to put this trust into something that you can't see. Oh, yeah, I can really feel that. Uh, Sagittarius, that's, yeah, it's not easy. It's really not. I get it. I totally get it. It's, it's rough. Here is this. There is this nurturing, loving relationship whoever that be with whether it be with friends whether it be with family whether it be with a partner it is there for you being with yourself even giving that to yourself as you want from someone else give it to yourself first so that you accept nothing less right do that for yourself Sag yeah because that's what's going to help dissolve this conditioning. That's what's going to help with this sorrow here. Okay. This is really important. Very important for you. Okay. To do the healing that you need. So that you can bring in those who are truly for you. Not those who wear a mask. 
<clears throat> not those that deceive you, not those that cause these moments, that brings through this. These are the true authentic ones. But the healing has to be done. The healing has to be done so that this, that so that it's not in your vibration to attract in those who will do that for you. And that's not to say it's your fault. Because, you know, when you shine the light, you can have those moths coming to the flames, you know. But um, it, it is to say that you are then able to be more discerning as to who you have in your vicinity, who you have in your vibration. And when people aren't fully matching that, you're not going to be deceived because you know yourself so well that no one can deceive you. So, yeah. Okay. So, on that note, let's have a look at Golden Solar Dragon here. Okay. Helps you to stand in your masculine power with wisdom. Let your DNA be reprogrammed and light codes activated. Become an inspired leader. About this card. Golden Solar Dragons are seventh dimensional beings who come from Helios, the great central sun. This is the sun beyond our sun, where Archangel Metatron creates the light matter that is the foundation of our existence. Helios is the great, sorry, the, the gateway between our universe and the source of all that is. The golden solar dragons from Helios touch us with divine masculine energy. They infuse us with courage, strength, logic, leadership and the qualities of the peaceful warrior. They then balance this with golden wisdom, all at a much higher frequency than we are used to. Working in harmony with the silver lunar dragons, they are activating us all now, illuminating the DNA within us that has been dominant since the fall of Atlantis. We are beginning, oh sorry, we are being intensely, let me try that again. We are being intensively reprogrammed in preparation for the new golden age. Guidance of this card, the golden solar dragon who has come to you now is asking you to balance your life. Listen to your inner wisdom and become a leader. Dare to speak your spiritual truth. Hold the vision of a fifth dimensional world. Protect those who are less capable than you are. With the support and guidance of this dragon, you can be a living example to many people. When you aspire to be a wise spiritual leader, Remember that true masculine power used with wisdom helps you and those around you to feel safe. Spend a little time each day focusing on or imagining the sun shining onto your third eye and sense the light codes that the golden solar dragons are directing towards you. Beautiful. Do that. Sagittarius, do that. Okay, I am going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.